We all know a very famous saying by Beethoven. Guitar is like a miniature orchestra. Indeed, guitar is a polyphonic instrument. Unlike violin, cello or flute, when you listen to a, a solo guitar player, you can hear the melody, the bass, the chords, and sometimes even the percussion. How to control all of these instruments in this orchestra? The magic is in your right hand. My name is Thule, and in this video, I will share with you some basic rules, positions, and exercises for right hand. If you are a completely beginner, this is the right video for you. And if you are already an advanced guitarist, also please look at these videos, because some of us we might make some mistake and carry on a bad habit. First of all, I will talk about position, right and wrong. So your arm will approach the guitar like this. Uh, this arm will lean on this part of the guitar. Your fingers will approach the string at about 45 degree angle. And this is to balance the length between the fingers. As you see, our fingers don't have the same length. So if you keep at this angle, which is very natural for our arm, it will balance the length. The thumb will always stay in front of the fingers. Your hand shouldn't lean here, as I see many beginners do this. And also when you play with the thumb, your fingers shouldn't lean on the top of the guitar. That is wrong. So the right way is only your fingers have a contact with the strings, but not with the guitar top. On this length of the string, your hand will normally stay right here, just under the south hole. Here it will give you the best sound. It's warm and still powerful enough. Of course, in the future, when you need to uh, change different colors, you can play near the bridge, which has more metallic sound, or even by the fretboard has darker sound but here would be the most natural sound talking about right hand technique there are so many things to work on it is playing scale melody tremolo arpeggio rasguardo but first thing come first uh, we will start with index and middle fingers as every first guitar lesson you would have to do this so imagine these two fingers is like your two legs to walk. If you can walk well on two legs, you can run very fast. You don't walk with one leg. I need to mention this because uh, so many beginners, they have the habit of playing the melody just with one finger. Of course, it's, uh, it's easy, but it become a bad habit. And when you stay for too long, it will be difficult to fix. There are two ways to pluck the string. We call it rest stroke or free stroke and also as known as apoyando and tirando. I will use here English so everybody can understand. So free stroke is when you pluck the string, you touch only one string, move it up and out. without leaning on other strings. And rest stroke is when you pluck and you push on the string above it. So when do we use free stroke and when do we use uh, rest stroke? Free stroke are normally used in arpeggio, tremolo, and even sometimes playing melody, line, 
and rest stroke are mostly in melody line or when you want to really give the attention to some highlight notes. Nowadays there are many guitarists to prefer to play only uh, free stroke but in my opinion I still like to add rest stroke sometimes and I will show you some later why. So the first exercise we will work on I and M on the open string slowly equally control every movement and again just like the left hand we have to save the energy by not moving it too much out like this and then also try with other string Control the motion and make sure you are not touching on the first string. And then third string. First, you can do free stroke, and then the next time you can do rest stroke. Same with the thumb. The thumb you can play on the bass string. Free stroke for the thumb. And rest stroke, you also, after plucking, you lean on the fifth string, the next string. Rest stroke is always give you uh, more power, but it limits your speed. And now I will show you a small example where I play both free stroke and rest stroke in one phrase. As you can hear, the melody is la, la, so la, si, la, si, la. Not on the melody notes, but most of it I play rest stroke to bring out more the melody. And in the meanwhile, the background, I will just play softly with free stroke, and it has to be free stroke in this case. And also uh, depends on the character of music. For me, I think this piece is uh, Capriccio Arab. It's beautiful and very nice melody, very passionate. So adding the rest stroke bring out more the beauty and happy to stand out more among all the notes. Back to our exercise. The next thing I would recommend you to do different combination, not just I and M, but also we do I A, M A or even PI. So this is to balance the strength of your fingers because as we all know, this is the best combination, the easiest combination. But this tool is always more difficult and we need to master it because at some point we will need it. So we would do the same thing on open string, uh, first with I and A. string or also on the treble string now if you get really bored playing with open strings you can combine with the left hand uh, we can try with G major scale on the first position just simply in the first three strings So we will use all of this combination on the right hand to do with the scale. One time free stroke, 
one time rest stroke slowly. Also, you can do with P and I, but then that should be only free stroke. Remember to do all of this without repeating fingers. And if you wonder why am I wearing this sleeve, that is for me to be able to move easily along the strings. When I'm not wearing a, a long sleeve shirt, because without this it would be very sticky. And why do I need to move along the string up and down? That is the next step that I will talk about the near future, is to do with colors, tone, dynamics. On the exercise today, you can combine with the left hand and practice on any skills, any melody line. And the easiest is just play with chromatic scale. And if you don't know what is chromatic scale, please go back and watch my previous video about left hand technique. After this series of uh, technique for beginners, I will make more exercise for advanced guitarists. So practice well, stay right there and I'll be back. Mm -hmm.